see my suitcase is chocolate themed and then I bring the handle up and it's like caramel colored. Isn't that great? That's great. Thanks. Wow, you got little guys on your shoes. Are you guys ready to go to Switzerland? Let's go to Switzerland. Are you ready? Bum, bum, bum. like my Switzerland nails as Dart was reminding me it's really 8.57 so we're gonna have a late dinner and then go to bed on the plane. Our flight actually isn't until 6.36 US time so we are almost four hours but hey when it's an international flight you don't want to mess around. So I've been reading William Tell because it's set in Switzerland. It's a Swiss tale of freedom. This uh, man and his wife are talking about the uh, Austrian lords who are oppressing the people. They're talking about possibly rising up uh, in resistance and the husband is saying, oh, you know, war could destroy our house, which we just spent so much time on. And the woman says, did I think this heart enslaved and fettered to the things of earth with my own hand, I'd hurl the kindling torch. That's pretty great. This is definitely like Shakespearean style language earlier. The grisly Vale King comes. The Vale King, Thalwat, ruler of the valley, is the name given figuratively to a dense gray mist which the south wind sleeps, sweeps into the valleys. They have these crazy names for just for like the weather because later on they talk about the south winds up, the fawn is loose. The fawn is a wind that could blow your house away. I've got the SBB app, which is, I got our train tickets. I also downloaded the SZBB, which is Zurich um, transportation. Although I think I can actually use the SBB as well. So we can buy like our, uh, you know, tram and boat tickets around Zurich. And then I guess you would just show them on your phone. But I meant to start this earlier, but I've been doing Duolingo German lessons just to see if we can get some words because German is not a language I know. French I know a little bit. Okay, does he drink? Shoot, drink. Oh no, trinkt. Trinkt is the drink. Brot. Brot is bread. See, there needs to be a Duolingo with like just pastry and um, dessert terms. <laughs> so I'm kind of impressed with how my lipstick matches my jacket. I added the Switzerland patch. This lipstick though, so I just bought this. Um, because I felt like I have so much red stuff in Switzerland and you know, good red lipstick. It's just the Maybelline red for me matte. You know how some lipsticks though, when you eat or drink something, they just sort of quietly make themselves scarce. And then other lipsticks really cause the scene. Unfortunately, this, when you eat something, it just gets everywhere. So, that's not so good, but otherwise, it's a nice color. So I just downloaded a preview of Swiss watching to try reading, because it's about Switzerland. At the beginning, he's talking about the names of towns and like which one he's going to pick, whether the English or the the French or the German, because of course they speak multiple languages in um, in Switzerland. But I like this sentence: In English, the most daring thing we do now is to leave the umlaut off Zurich. <laughs> but look at this little map. Stylish people. So that's France, the big Kental. I'm pretty sure that's Germany, Austria, loud people, Italy. <laughs> But look, Heidi, William Tell. So we're gonna be in Zurich, my German-speaking region. Geneva, which is over in the French area. And Matterhorn, which is actually pretty close to Italy. Matterhorn is near the town of Zermatt. Wow, so CH is the abbreviation of uh, Switzerland. And apparently, it's from the official name, Confederatio Helvetica, which is Latin. There's a little monorail running out there, coming into the station. We'll be boarding before too long. They've just been boarding a plane to Prague, which sounds so cool. Group three for Zurich now boarding. That's really good. Here we go. We are about to 
it's gone now. What? There's an ad for Discover Hong Kong, like a local, and I was saying, guys. <laughs> we're, going we're going to Hong Kong. Hong Kong. We're not going to Hong Kong. <laughs> Someday I would love to go to India, though. Wouldn't that be fun? Or oh, Hong Kong. But it is a long way away. This flight is long, but not that long. Guys, good news. We're going to Newark. <laughs> we're at Newark. <laughs> New Jersey. Hi. Ages, how do you feel about Zurich? Are you excited? A little bit. Are you pumped? A little bit, just a small amount. I got other stuff to do with this. I'm hoping that tomorrow, which is like almost today, possibly it is today in Switzerland, because it's like Eight hours midnight or 1 a.m. in Switzerland time. It's only, no, it's not quite midnight yet. But I'm hoping that we can go to Cafe Schober for a sort of breakfast evening. Because our flight arrives at like 8 20. So we'll take the train into the city. We'll go to the hotel and just drop the bags off. The room might not be ready, but they'll usually hold them for you kind of desk. And then I want to go to Cafe Schober and have the hot chocolate. Avengers? Yeah, Endgame already. They have Endgame on the in-flight entertainment, Dart, guys. Dart, I'm talking about hot chocolate and Zerg. Why would I care about the entertainment options? Well, I guess this is a hot chocolate that isn't immediate. And the entertainment is. What are you going to watch, Avis? Nothing. <gasps> You're just going to sleep? Well, hey, probably. I'm going to try to. Oh, what are you going to read? I was going to reread the club. part of Child Girls Pilgrimage <gasps> set in. Perfect. I've been reading William Tell. I already was telling them what I've been reading. Well, it's really good. Actually, I was Shoot thinking, someone with an apple off of someone's head? Not yet. But he, but he, there was a guy running away from this evil duke, and there was a storm brewing up, and so the guy needed to get out on the lake. But no one would take him because it was like a suicide mission because of the storm. But then William Tell shows up and is like, give me that boat, I'll take him. So he's also an accomplished boat man. He's a boss kind of guy. That's pretty good. But I was thinking you would like it while I was reading it. The language is sort of Shakespearean. It felt like something up your street. Lake Le Mans woos me with its crystal face. Lake Le Mans. Of the mirror where the stars and mountains view the stillness of their aspects in each trace. Wow. Its clear depth yields of their far heightened hue. Look, they have fixer upper. I don't think that they will have Passport to Europe. Or Samantha Brown's new show is uh, Places to Love. I wish they would have that. That would be so fun to watch. Let's see what kind of Bollywood they have. They didn't have a Bollywood section, but they did have International, which is probably... Oh, I haven't seen that one. Hmm. I don't think they had Wei Young either. Wei Young is this Chinese drama we've been watching that is so good. It's amazing. Oh, I watched that. That was kind of cute. I kind of liked that one. Made in India. I might watch sound of music because we're going to we're going to Salisbury, which is of course the sound of music town. I like how you are singing song I appreciate that. Oh I love Roman holiday. See, if we were going to Italy I would totally watch that. Singing in the rain is so sweet too. But I think we're gonna go. What? This is not Julie Andrews. It's an ad for the cloud. Right. Those are Alps. We are going to see Alps. Do you feel a little bit like you're watching Impression de France? Maybe. There were no drones when they did this shot. Not
Lock Zurich. Can you see me in the mirror? See guys, I went with a chocolate bar palette. about this online. They have amazing pretzels. I like that girl's asparagus dress. She looks elegant and vegetable-y at the same time. That sadly is a McDonald's ad, but at least it's in French. <laughs> 